Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another pharmacy technician video. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Kiana and I have been a pharmacy technician for about four to five years now and I like to do some helpful and insightful pharmacy tech videos when I can. For today's video, I am gonna kinda just break down the differences between retail pharmacy and inpatient pharmacy, which is usually at a hospital or facility. I have personally worked at a retail pharmacy, which I worked at CVS, and I now work at a hospital. So I'm just going based off my experiences and my positions, different positions that I've had at each place. So first things first, retail pharmacy. Retail pharmacy is going to be obviously at like your local big Y, Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, and all that good stuff. When you are at the pharmacy, you are filling prescriptions that doctors, hospitals send, and then obviously our patients, they come pick them up. The key difference is retail pharmacy, we have different stations. So we have like a pickup and drop off station, and that's when the medication is ready, it's bagged, the pharmacist checked it, it's good to go. The patient's here to pick it up. So we have that. And then we also have our drop-off station, which is all the orders that hospitals and doctor's offices send to us. So it's at a computer and we're just checking the orders, we're writing the scripts in, we're transferring them. And then, like I said, the pharmacist checks them. And then we have the fill station, which is a pharmacy technician that fills all of the medications. And then we have all of our aisles. Um, I'm going to attach pictures as I'm kind of talking about them side by side so you guys can kind of get a picture and an idea. So you're in just like a little room all day and you're rotating throughout those stations. There's also um, inventory specialists that you could always be and that's basically going over all the medications and making sure like nothing's expired. If we need new scripts of anything, um, it's counting prescriptions and making sure the right things are in the bottle um, and then writing down the amount that we have. So it's just a bunch of inventory and quality assurance stuff. And then we also have a, um, what's it called? A lead technician. I was one. It was, we have a lead technician and that is the person who is like the senior or someone who's usually certified and kind of guides the day so the pharmacist doesn't have to be in charge of the technician. We have one technician that's in charge of everybody who's working that shift. Also scheduling is very different. My hours would be about eight to 5.30 retail um, and then hospital, that's completely different. So inpatient pharmacy now, inpatient pharmacy is at a hospital. You're dealing with people who are admitted, hence the word inpatient. There's a bunch of different positions, but I'm going to go over the ba most basic pharmacy technician position, which is just being a pharmacy technician in a hospital. You're in the basement. I will also attach some pictures here. We have a few different stations. We have the huge machines. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on what ours are specifically called at our hospital. They're just big machines and it's all the packaged medications. So a technician basically gets an order. Um, like a little slip, you scan the slip, you scan the medication, you find it in the bin and then you bag it and then the pharmacist checks it. And later on you have other technicians who bring the medications to our floors. So you walk around the hospital and you go to the floors and then we have something called a Pixis med station, which I will attach here. Um, the Pixis med station, you log into it, put your fingerprint, and that's when you dispense all the medications into the Pixis so the floors have them for their patients. Because, you know, patients come into the hospital and they're on daily medications and we're giving them every time at the day they usually take them. And then there's also pain management and any medications that they're getting while they're here. So it's really just making sure that you stock the med stations and if nurses text you saying they need a certain medication that you bring that up as soon as you can. Um, the other station that there is in a inpatient pharmacy is the IV room, which is when you obviously make IV bags and that's um, for patients, you know, when you're at the hospital and you have an IV, IV bag and it's connected to your arm. So we make IV bags. We also do stat medications, which is when we get traumas that come into the emergency room. So um, it could be like clotting issues, 
whatever, aneurysms, um, literally you name it, and we have to make a very fast medication in the IV room, and then we have a pharmacy technician who sprints their way up to the hospital and runs it into the room, and you have like a 15 minute time window, and yeah, so that's those are kind of fun. Um, and then we also have compounding and our compounding room is obviously just exactly what it sounds. You compound like medications together to create a different medication. Um, so like Tylenol or when you think of like, um, oxycodone, acetaminophen, it's like Percocet, that's oxycodone and Tylenol mixed together. Obviously some other stuff might be thrown in there and you compound it and you create it. So those are the two differences between retail pharmacy and inpatient pharmacy. Retail pharmacy, you are very much so talking with customers all day if you are in the back counting, but you're usually rotating throughout the day. So you're always gonna kind of have customer interaction. Hospital pharmacy, there's days where I don't see a single patient all day running up medications, but then there's also times in a sense of when you're running up a stat medication and you're in the room giving the drug to the doctor, you'll see the patient, but you're not, that's not a time you're not gonna talk with them. So you really don't have patient interaction in the inpatient basic pharmacy technician being in the hospital. So those are the two differences between retail and pharmacy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next pharmacy tech video that I post. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified for whenever I post a new video. Thanks guys. Have a good day.